Hi Libra, this is going to be your twin soul reading for August. I'm sorry, I know it's taken a while. I got my light on so you guys can see me. So we're going to do things a little bit different this time. Um, I'm going to pull uh, two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy. We're going to get um, a advice from spirit card and then we're going to get um, messages from your person. We'll get two cards, which is messages of love from your person. And we're going to do a um, getting into the vortex card from um, Esther and Jerry Hicks. Um, Y'all know I am a huge Abraham Hicks fan. And so um, when I seen this deck, I had to get it. I had to pick it up. All right, so let's go ahead and just dive right in. Let's get Libra's energy in regards to this twin soul connection. So I've already cleansed my space, you guys. You know I take this job very seriously. Um, my advice to all of you would be to keep your space as clean as possible. It's not always possible because I have three children. Um, but I did dust this area so this area is nice and clean. There is no energetic chaos right here in this room. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite Archangel Michael into this space to protect this space for us. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Let's get two cards for Libra's energy in regards to this twin soul connection and how Libra is feeling right now. Coming out of this 8-8 eight, eight portal. All right, the energies have been all over the place, y'all. All right, if y'all know how I do my reads, I wait for the cards to fly out, and that's how it lets me know, Spirit lets me know. The first card that flew out is a star. Oh, Libra. So you are feeling extremely hopeful about this connection with your person, as you should be, right? Love is in the air. The second card, ooh, we got Seven of Cups, Seduction in Reverse, and I will show you the cards in a minute, okay? Actually, I was going to say I should just leave the cards. I'm going to do that for because I don't want the cards that come out first to influence anything at all. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do your next two cards. If they flip out, well, they will flip out. Um, but I'm not going to look at them. I'm going to I'm going to leave them <laughs> face down until I get the whole picture. All right, let's get two cards for your person's energy. There's your first card for your person and the second card for Libra's person, their twin soul and how this their twin soul is feeling. Whoa, they gave us three for your person. Okay, and let's get the advice from Spirit, please. Whoa, okay. <laughs> we got one card. Um, I'm just going to stick with the one card. I'm not going to do any more. Okay. So for your energy, we have the star, which means you're feeling really hopeful about this connection, but we also have the seven of cups in reverse. I don't like to read reversals. You know that I freaking hate reversals. Um, cause I never really learned the, I never really learned the meaning of the reversals. It was just three, three, six on my camera. That's going to be significant for someone. So we have seduction. Okay. So this is the first card that came out for you. It's the star. I'm using my sacred B tarot. Um, it's not mine, but let's see. It is by, oh gosh, Kelly Burton. So for those of you that want to know that, um, so you're feeling hopeful. Okay. We also have the seven of cups in reverse. So the Seven of Cups, it, when it's upright, is about, you know, daydreaming, um, fantasizing, all of those things. So if it's in reverse, it sort of means the opposite. Usually, that's, that's, that's how I was taught about tarot. So one second. Okay, sorry about that, Libra. All right, so we have Seven of Cups in reverse. Now, the way I was taught to read a reversal is this. Um, a reversal usually means the opposite. So at this point, maybe you're not really um, allowing yourself to daydream. I, I don't know why. 
Maybe you feel like um, you don't have any options other than your twin soul, which is not true. <laughs> um, you can choose to be with your twin flame or your twin soul, or you can choose to be with the high level soulmate. There's nothing written in stone. Okay. It, nothing is ever written in stone. Um, so the choice is up to you. You do have choices and you can choose to give in to this and to, um, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that Libra. <laughs> Um, so the toilet was clogged and my little guy had to go to the bathroom. I feel like that's significant for you as well. Like maybe there's an energy clog or something. So, I mean, everything, everything is, there's a reason for everything, right? Okay. So let's recap. So let's recap. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that, Libra. People tend to, when you are channeling your greatest self people have a tendency to not be happy when you are doing things which bring you joy right the universe will throw all sorts of things at you to try to de you know derail your path keep going ignore all the negativity going around you all the time and just focus on your goals and your dreams it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks it doesn't matter what anyone else is doing there's a lesson here Okay, if I'm not allowing myself to be derailed, then please do not allow yourself to be derailed. Okay, so obviously, as you guys know, I live with someone who's extremely negative. He's always been like that, right? And I'm not going to be able to change him. So I changed my perspective on my life and I just continue to go and to, to continue to do what I what I do with 646. Um, and I don't allow myself to be derailed and I don't allow, you know, like low vibrational stuff to even come into my reality. So, you know, if, if me working triggers you in some way, then that's, you know, that's, that's on them. Like we are, Oh, I need to turn my phone off. We only mm. focus on the things which are for our highest good, the things which are propelling us into our highest timeline. We don't focus on the negative because when we do, it just brings more negative. So, all right, let's recap, Libra. So, you feel like you don't have any options in your twin flame journey, right? You feel like you only have your twin flame. You absolutely don't. There's other options. There's high level soulmates. Um, here's what I'm getting from this. I feel like, People take the twin flame journey so serious and they, they just don't have enough fun with it. And, you know, like allow yourself to have fun with it. Like you're, you're feeling like you're not allowing yourself to daydream and to fantasize. And I feel like that's what's causing a lot of, I guess, like energy blocks. Allow yourself to have fun with it. Fantasize. Think about the things that you would like to happen in your journey. I mean, that's what it's about, right? It's about enjoying your journey. It's not about just being serious 24 seven. I mean, look at the environment that I'm in and I'm literally always happy. <laughs> like I'm always happy. There's nothing literally in my environment or anywhere around me that can affect me basically. So that's, you know, that's how we all have to be. Um, and I'm not talking about spiritual bypassing or pretending to be happy when you're not. It's like once you get to a certain vibration, you're just happy. Like nothing can make you unhappy. Like no matter what, no matter what is going on in your outside reality, like things things don't derail you because nothing bad really can happen that you can't handle. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's look into your person's energy. We have six of cups, pleasure. See, your person's not worried about shit. Um, and then we have more cards in reverse. What in the fucking hell? All right. So we have six of cups pleasure. So your person is focusing on their pleasure. They're focusing on the things that make them happy. They're literally becoming a bliss baby. They have the right idea, Libra. When you focus on the things that bring you pleasure, you experience pleasure. Whatever you focus on is what shows up in your reality. So they're focusing on pleasure, okay? The question is, why aren't you? All right, we have Ace of Wands, and it's in reverse. 
and page of cups in reverse I don't even know what the hell that means oh my god as an advice from spirit we have the hangman in reverse <laughs> this is insane all right so the ace of wands is basically forward movement going really quickly but it came out in reverse so your person you might feel like everything's going really slow in your journey and it is it's because your person is focusing on pleasure they're not worried about the journey right now <laughs> i'm sorry i hate to say it but that's what's going on they're not worried they're not focused on the journey what they are focused on is their own personal pleasure and the things which bring them joy and bliss okay so they're not as worried about the journey as you are okay they're um kind of at a slow leisurely type pace so their energy is very slow and sort of me 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 meandering along i guess meandering i don't know that word um whereas you're more focused on them if that makes sense and then we have um the page of cups in reverse so you know the page of cups means like a love offer your person is not going to offer anything to you so to me uh, it, it's possible your person is the feminine part okay and she's not She's like, I'm the feminine. I'm not going to make a love offer, right? So she's not going to. Um, you know, Page of Cups is a love offer. Page of Cups in reverse is this person is not worried about a love offer. They're not planning on making a love offer, okay? So there's that. And then we have, as advice from Spirit, yeah? Hold on one second. Okay, sorry, Libra. There's been so many interruptions. Okay, so we moved on to the advice from Spirit. So, the advice and spirit was the hanged man, okay? And I thought it was in reverse, but it's not. It's actually right side up. So, the advice from spirit is to pause and wait, okay? Your person is not open to a love offer at this time, I don't think. Um, your person is really focused on figuring out what makes them, them tick. They're focused on um living their best life right now so the timing is just a little bit off now you know that the, your twin flame is your mirror so where is this person mirroring you you know ask yourself that <clears throat> um where is this person triggering you you know things like that my son is in the background he's on his tablet okay so that's we're gonna wrap that part up um so yeah the advice from spirit is to not really go forward at this time we are going to get some messages from your person i feel like honestly that reading could have been for a masculine and the feminine is more focused on her pleasure or whatever um but i mean if the energies are reversed you take it how it resonates whatever um let's get um two cards message from libra's person and then we're going to end with the relationship advice from abraham hicks esther and jerry hicks that is their deck all right can we get two cards message from libra's person please okay that one flipped over but it didn't come out didn't fly out so i'm not going to take it it was secrets so Ooh, okay. That one flipped out. <clears throat> and let's get one more message. Woo, okay. They are flying out today. We have gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. So your person is afraid of what other people will think. Uh, take that out. It resonates. I don't know. I don't know what why that is. Maybe there's an age gap. Maybe... <sighs> maybe you're not their type i i don't know i don't know the reasoning behind it i just know that that's what's coming out all right we have runner i don't want to run anymore so you know your person they don't want to run but at the same time they're not really ready according to spirit for that full-on 
commitment, which you deserve, Libra. So take that how it resonates. That is what your person is saying. And no matter what it looks like on the 3D, <clears throat> um, we know that like you're always connected to your twin in the 5D. doesn't matter. So we are going to get your final card from the... Um, it's called, hold on, I'll show you in a minute. What is the final message for Libra for the month of August? Sorry I took so long to get your guys' reading out for your twin soul. I've been extremely busy and I'm going to focus more on my channel than ever, I promise. I'm going to get all, try to get all the reads out for the rest of the month and then I'm going to, I have some new things in store for you. Okay, so stay tuned. Esther and Jerry Hicks getting into the vortex. What is the final message <clears throat> for Libra from Spirit? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. What do we got? I don't know if anything's going to fly out from these cards because this deck is really big. Look, oof. And that one almost, you know, so I don't know. We're going to try to get one to come out and fly out, but let's see. Ooh, that one. Okay, that's it. It says, the law of attraction assembles happy relationships. And I'll read it to you. The law of attraction cannot bring you a well-balanced, happy person if you are not yourself already that. The law of attraction, no matter what you do or say, will bring to you those who predominantly match the person who you predominantly are. If you are not happy with yourself or with your life, the attraction of a partner will only exaggerate the discord because any action taken from a place of lack is always counterproductive. This is so true. Remember that you attract what you are. Um, you know, so it, it's funny, like literally you will notice when you start focusing on yourself, you will trigger a lot of people who are desperately unhappy in their life. Um, and, and it's very strange that like when you set a boundary, you know, for someone to cross over it, um, that usually means that like, like, okay, so, so normal, healthy people do not get triggered by boundaries. Right. And, and the people that set healthy boundaries themselves, they are not triggered by boundaries. So let me just give you a little bit of, of information about what happened. So if you heard in the background, my ex um, yelling that he, something about he hated living with me. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little backstory because I think this is perfect for an ex and a perfect example for you, Libra, right now. Everything happens for a reason, right? So I was trying to record your read and it was a little bit loud and I could hear him in the bathroom talking to London. So I went out there and said, hey, I'm trying to record this video um, for my channel. So could you be quiet? Which turned into him yelling and saying, oh, um, you're so difficult to live with and blah, 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 blah. And I said, I just need just, just a little bit of quiet. Like, and he's like, oh, I'm being quiet. And I said, but I can still hear you. Like you're right. The bathroom's right here. So I can still hear every word you're saying. And it's very distracting when I'm trying to channel. And, you know, I get, he might not understand what it's like when you're doing tarot, when you're channeling and you're, you know, focused and you're tuned into spirit, but any type of loud, um, or even not even loud. I mean, just any type of outside noise can be very distracting. That's why when I tell my son to be in here, if he wants to be in here, I, have to, I say, yeah, you can be in here, but you have to be very, very quiet because, you know, when mommy's channeling, it's very hard for me to focus when, you know, if there's distractions. So that's all. That was a whole conversation. It was, you know, it's, it's distracting. I can't hear, I can't hear my thoughts, you know? which then turned into him full blown freaking out and like screaming, I'm hard to live with. He was being quiet and which, you know, I just ignored cause I'm like, I, I don't, I don't even acknowledge that type of behavior. Like that's, it doesn't even exist in my reality anymore. It's just like, that's, I don't pay attention. Right. So I came in here, I pushed play, I started recording again and then so you caught the tail end of his downward spiral, which 
I had nothing to do with because I, at this point, I wasn't even talking. I just came in here and was focused on the task at hand, which is getting my reading out to you. So you caught the tail end of the, I hate living here with you, which that's his reality. That's not, that's not my reality. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's a perfect example of like your reality become what you think about becomes your reality, right? So if that's how he feels and that's how he thinks, then yes, it's going to be miserable him living here with me, right? Because that's his perspective of our cohabitant, cohabiting together, right? That's not my reality at all. <laughs> like, um, it's, I mean, I'm not saying it's like a perfect situation, but I don't have any issues here. I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> so that's just a perfect example of how like, you know, you attract what you are. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that. Be happy, Libra, so that you can attract happiness and love. All right, I love you. If you want to book a reading with me, everything that you need to know is going to be in the description box below. I love you all.